Hello everyone, today we will be talking about the cognitive tricks people use to make you click on clickbait. Don't click away, I promise this video will be as informative as possible and completely worth your time. This stuff is important, especially considering that more and more of our lives are being spent online. So let's dive right in. While there are many facets to clickbait, the four key elements we will be talking about today are information gap theory, emotional arousal, cognitive ease, and intermittent reinforcement. Let's start with information gap theory, a concept popularized by Professor George Lowenstein. Essentially, information gap theory describes a gap of what we know and what we don't know. When this gap is realized, a feeling of discomfort occurs, called curiosity, and humans are naturally prone to close that gap. Let's take the title of this video for instance, The Surprising Thing Your Brain Can't Resist. I created an information gap here by instigating that the information in this video is surprising, as in you probably don't know about it. You then clicked on the link to cure your curiosity and close the gap between what you know and what you don't know. But let's say for instance that I change the title to Horrible Clickbait Destroys Your Brain. Research shows that eliciting an extreme emotional response by using strongly worded titles leads to higher virality on the internet. Internet. Julio Reyes and colleagues analyzed about 70,000 headlines from four major news corporations and found that extreme emotional titles correlate with higher popularity. These findings are supported by research from Jonah Berger and colleagues who found that content that evokes high arousal, whether positive or negative, is more likely to be viral than content that evokes low arousal. Furthermore, Berger found that positive content tends to be shared more than negative content. So maybe I should change my title to, Your Brain Absolutely Adores Clickbait. Or maybe even, 10 Reasons Why Your Brain Absolutely Adores Clickbait. Since lists are clicked on more often because they make it easier for our minds to comprehend their information. This leads to cognitive ease, the tendency for our minds to gravitate towards things that put less strain on our brains. We will be coming back to this effect in future videos. The best way to exemplify this is through an example. Would you rather click on the title, The Odyssey, An Analysis, or 10 Things You Need to Know About The Odyssey? Like it's even a question, right? One portrays itself as a lengthy article full of long paragraphs, and the other as a simple list. But let's say you don't like what you read when you click on the latter article. Research tells us that you will keep clicking and clicking on more articles like that until you eventually get a satisfactory link. This type of effect is called intermittent reinforcement, which is when our brain compels us to do a behavior that normally elicits pleasure even if we are not immediately satisfied. This is often looked at by psychologists as the most effective way to train a behavior because there is always an anticipation that what you do will release dopamine, a feel-good chemical, into your brain. This is highly pleasurable and highly addictive, so animals tend to get fixated on things that release dopamine in their brains. In the case for clickbait, a dopamine release would occur when what you click actually delivers on what it says it will deliver. A good comparison is gambling. It might sound like a stretch, but you can easily see the connection between clicking on clickbait for a dopamine release and playing slots for a jackpot. It is unlikely that the desired outcome will take place, but that's what makes participating in these activities that much more addicting. Now, I think there is both good clickbait and bad clickbait out there. I mean, look at this. I lured you into this video with my slightly deceiving title, and maybe you learned something new because of it. With the vast amount of information being put on an ever-expanding web, maybe it's not a bad thing for our brain to gravitate towards certain links as opposed to other links. Just don't expect the things you click on to always be what they seem. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.